All right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs, day number 1192. Hope you guys are all doing well out there. Uh, what is going on, everybody? So, hope you're, uh, like I said, hope everything is going well for you. And if you are a delivery driver for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on, everybody. That's right. Did you do that yet? I'll give you a second. And of course, hit that like button down below if you haven't yet. And let's jump on into it, all right? So where are my DoorDash drivers at? If you are a DoorDash driver, comment Dasher right now because this concerns you. So you guys may remember one of my viewers, Denadrian Smith. Uh, I talked about him a little while back, maybe a couple weeks ago. And he wanted to let us know about something else that he's been experiencing. So if you guys ever want to email me anything to talk about in videos or just have a question, the best way to reach me is by email, paidtodrivestories at gmail.com. So short email, he says, hey Pete, it's me, Denadrian Smith. I don't know if this is a glitch in the DoorDash system or is it a slick way for DoorDash to get orders delivered? I have had orders. I have I have had orders assigned to me. Sorry, hold on. I've had orders assigned to me which I did not accept. Of course, I unassigned them, taking hits on my completion rate. Let me just pause for a second. Completion rate is super, super, super important. It can lead to deactivation if it gets too low. Please keep that in mind for newer drivers out there. Everybody in the comments or in the chat actually comment how long you have been a DoorDash driver or a Dasher. Put that in the chat or the comments real quick. Uh, I do. So he, so he says, I have, I've had an order assigned to me which I did not accept. Of course, I unassigned them, taking hits on my completion rate. I do have a cushion to keep it up. Do you know if this is a glitch or a new way to get rid of veteran drivers by getting their completion rate low enough to to deactivate the driver also i wonder if anyone else has seen this with their app uh and then he says then adrian so what do we think here i have not seen this personally uh and this is actually the first i am hearing it from another driver another dasher um <clears throat> well look when it comes to these companies i don't put anything past them because, look, this is not 2017 anymore. Uh, like I said, when, uh, and like I've said in the past, when DoorDash came to my market was the fall of 2017. Everybody comment down below uh, when it was that DoorDash maybe came to your market, if you know. Um, and look, like I said, I wouldn't put put I wouldn't put any of this past uh, any of these companies that they're trying to find ways to get veteran drivers deactivated. Now, some of you might say, well, "What do you mean by a veteran driver?" Really, anyone that's been driving for like six months or more, I consider someone a veteran driver, you know, because uh, there's a lot you can learn if you're doing this very consistently in six months, you know. So his question is, you know, are they assigning orders to drivers without them, you know, without their permission? Uh, you know, I've had an order assigned to me, which I did not accept. Um, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised because again, they know they cannot deactivate you for low acceptance rate. There are literally drivers that have like a 1% acceptance rate. I'm just curious, everybody in the chat in the, or in the comments, put what your completion rate is and put what your acceptance rate is, just to kind of get an idea of the, of, you know, the range there. Your acceptance rate, you never have to worry about. The completion rate, you do have to worry about. And that's something that DoorDash is very, very strict uh, on cracking down on. So, what are the benefits of deactivating veteran drivers? I've said this before. I'll say it again. The purpose of this is to get drivers out that have the knowledge about, you know, accepting and rejecting orders. That's a big deal because they want those $3 orders picked up, period. Those are the ones that are always floating around that a lot of you are just sitting there, reject, reject. Oh, come on. What is that? Reject. And, you know, from what a lot of drivers tell me is that they go by uh, $1 per mile, you know, 
Some some drivers even do 50 cents a mile. What are, everybody in the chat or the comments put what how many miles to dollar ratio do you normally do? Is it a dollar per mile for you? Because that seems to be the norm. So really, when it all comes down to it, uh, do I think that these companies are sending or DoorDash specifically? Do I feel that they are sending out orders to drivers that they didn't accept? It's always possible. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't think you're lying. Uh, I, that's why I'm putting this out there because I need to know if anybody else is experiencing this. So please let me know in the chat or in the comment section uh, if you've been experiencing like you're on a DoorDash run or whatever and all of a sudden an extra order pops up or all of a sudden you're driving waiting for orders and an order auto accepts that you didn't physically accept and then you have to redirect it or you know basically you're canceling it so that screws up your completion rate because then it spits it out to another driver that is a big problem with these companies even on Grubhub if you're accepting orders and you're like oh no, no I don't like it and you're reassigning it they hate that so that's something to keep in mind um, like I said me personally I have not experienced this but evidently Dan Adrian has so let me know down below guys if this is happening to you please 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 let keep us updated <clears throat> and also I want to take the time right now uh, to thank all of our uh, drivers on patreon.com slash pay to drive that support the channel every month and get shout outs just like this if you want to sign up links in the description down below or in the pin top comment make sure to go check it out and uh, see if it's something you like and if you hear your name called say hey Pete I heard my name so we got BBA master Yoda Nottingham Brian Pomeroy Heidi Barnes Kurt Paul Tulsa Todd William Boudreaux Alan G Van Horn Drew Hanor Frank Haviland, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Sarah Keston, uh, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Fernando Carranza, Lulu Laura, Ginny Thomas, John Venacci, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, Terry Long, and Valerie Brown. Thanks so much for signing up, everybody. And speaking of signing up, <clears throat> sign up for free on the Get Upside Gas app. All you have to do is download it from the link in the description, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description down below. Make sure to download it. I know I'm annoying, but seriously. And of course, check out paytodrivestore.com. For all uh, t-shirts, you know, hoodies, all that good stuff, it's all on sale. Download it down below. And uh, not download it. Go check it out. And if you made it to the end, comment END219. END219. Because, you know, that is what it is. So, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Subscribe with all notifications on. Hit that like button because I know you didn't do it yet. I know you didn't. But uh, that's it for me. Get that money. Get that honey. Keep hustling. Keep bustling. And we'll see you guys next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Take care, everybody. Send me your emails. Paid to Drive Stories at gmail.com. Mahalo. Whoa.